You are reacting to lamb, pork, scallop, cashew, salmon, tuna, and then also Brazil nut. Walnut, soybean, which soybean is in more than you can imagine. Peanut, wheat, shrimp, which that's all I wondered about, right? Yeah. The only thing she wondered about was shrimp, but there was something fishy about how those allergy test results were delivered. There has been a massive surge in these allergy tests that would essentially make her never want to eat out again, with some companies even offering scattershot testing for over 1,500 allergens. But what does a positive result on these tests really mean? Well, in the absence of a clinician taking a clinical history and applying it to the patient's context, then not much, meaning that people will create restrictive eating habits for potentially very little benefit. Now, even if there is a suspicion that some of these foods could be causing an issue, then the right way to do it is not just eliminate them all completely, but reintroduce them slowly with clinical supervision to see if they are genuinely causing the problem you're worried about. So I'd say to take those results with a pinch of salt, but by the time they're done, there's not much left to season.